this. Hi, what are y'all doing up each for at 3 in the morning? Yes. <laughs> in the bathroom where most of the activity has been happening. So our fingers are on my gently, yeah. I'm good belly touching this. If there's anything here with us, can you please use the spirit board to communicate? Start by moving the planchette to yes to let us know that you're here with us. Use our energy to move her. You can do this. Oh, come on. Something like movement or quiet whispering can be heard at the exact time as I speak. It couldn't have been us because neither of us were moving. Is this Billy? If so, then. Can you spell out your name for us? can be heard as we continue to use the Ouija board. How neither of us heard it at the time, I don't know. Do you like Emily? Yeah, it's just me. So you don't like me? Right. Do you like Lauren? Yes <laughs> Did or you no? Say it's like one of the lies. Is it Tuesday that you don't like? <laughs> so do you like Tuesday? <laughs> What, why do you like me? Just no. <laughs> when the ghost don't even want to be a friend. Do you hear that tap? It sounded like a floorboard creak. Can you maybe tell us the secret society you were a part of? Spell it out for us on the board. Or give us the first letter. C. Coal. <laughs> Does that mean coal? Was it a satanic call? Oh, thank God, I don't. I've been asked to ask you, do you like India? She said that you two had a really nice chat earlier. We managed to capture what appears to be an EVP, yet we still can't figure out what it says. It sounds like mumbling.
Uh, so the cult you're a part of, did you want to be a part of that or did you want to leave? So yes, if you wanted to be a part of it, no, if you wanted to leave. Are you bored of us now? <laughs> Let's try and talk to someone else. Can we please speak to one of the, the two little boys? Yeah. Can we speak to one of the two boys that are supposed to run this building? Can you move to any letter to prove that you're here? D. So is this Danny? Oh, hi Danny. Why did you choose to stay in this building? Is it? That's a very long one. Uh, what? There's someone who made a sign behind you. When were you born, Danny? One. Come on, you can spell out the rest of the year. You were quite young, so you should still be quite powerful. You can do this. One. Eighteen. Eight. Eight hundred. Eighteen. Fifty. Six. Hello, is there something on the other side of the door? Can you please hit the door if there's something there? That's not normal, is it? Knock my light over if you want. Yeah. It is obvious something hits the camera because of the sound it makes. However, we were nowhere near it. We know you're out there. We're not afraid of you. Open the door to the bathroom. You still there, Danny? Yeah. Um, so you're a stable boy, is this true? Or did you like the horses? Are you related to the other boy that's here? Are you friends with the other spirits that occupy this room, or do you not speak to them? Yes, if you do. No, if you don't. I just don't acknowledge each other. Do you like Tuesday? Yeah. Is the nun with us? No. No. She must be in the bedroom Is then? Is she in the bedroom? Do any of the spirits in this entire building mean us any harm? Yes. Is Shall we not the... go to the chapel? Does that mean no as in don't go to the chapel? Um, yes to go to the chapel, no to not go to the chapel. I'm not even gather it's the other nuns that... Bad. Yeah, people don't like the chapel. <laughs> so would you like us to go to the other room to speak to the nun who was murdered, potentially? Yes, okie dokie, we'll leave you now then. Uh, anything you'd like to say before we go? Spell out anything. C. Oh, I'm fine enough for that. do this. We know you're capable of doing that. CM. Anything else you want to spell out? CM? Any other letters? CME. Anything else? X. CME X. Is it uh, initials for something? A name? No. A location? Uh, is it a location in the hotel? Is it on the hotel grounds? No. Will we be able to find it easily? No. Can you maybe show us where it is? No. Any other clues? Before we go, is it in Bristol? 
Is it near the hotel? Is it quite far away? Would you maybe like to spell out why you want us to go there? Before we go? Do you know how to speak English? No. Latin? J. H. All those initials. You know you're doing really well. <coughs> yes. J. H. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Goodbye. We decided to call it quits on the Ouija board and explored the rest of the hotel instead, hoping we'd capture something. I think that might just be the stairs. Yeah, it's not the lift. Because I am on the weird part of the stairs. This place is creepy. So, up. right, where are we going to? The chapel first. We're going to see if we can get anything in the there. The chapel, but may I just say, we've been advised by pretty much every ghost we've contacted <laughs> not to, to not go, go into. into. Oh, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Thank Cheers. you so much. <laughs> nice man. We could ask him if he's seen any ghosts in his time here because he seemed really nice. We took it in turns to sit in the chapel alone in an attempt to capture evidence, starting with Emily. The lovely naked lady portrait behind me here. If there's anything here, can you communicate with me? Maybe move that chair right there. I know it's heavy, but I'm sure you can do it. I've heard there's a lot of nuns here. She may be swinging one of the chandeliers. This is a spirit box. It's going to scan through a bunch of radio frequencies, so if you want to communicate, then use the energy on here. Come on, use the box. Thank you, there we go. Should I bring Lauren back in here? Very faintly, on the spirit box, you can hear my name after Emily talks about me. Listen carefully. Not a lot. Like, I was trying to get something from the box. It took a while, but you can faintly hear, like, chanting and bells. They were soft. But why were we warned against coming here and there's, they're not stepping up? Yeah, I don't know. What if that's, that room's just tricking us? How do we know we can trust the guys in there? Well, that's very true. Okay. I'm going to do an EVP on my phone to see if we can pick anything up. What you can hear in the background is rain, because it is raining right now. Starting this EVP now. I'm in the chapel where we were warned not to come. So if there's anything here, can you please make yourself known and speak either into the camera or into the EVP recording for me? Is there something here with me? If there is something here with me, can you tell me something? Maybe your name, maybe start with your name. Can you tell me how you died? So I can't tell if it's raining or like charming. <laughs> Can you tell me why the other spirits told us not to come into this room? What were they warning us about? Why should we be afraid of being in this room? Did you kill one of the other nuns and bury her body within the walls of this building? Or was that just a rumor? If so, why did you do that? What was your reason for harming another human being when that goes completely against your religion? Why do you make so many people who come in here feel uneasy? What is it about this room? It's very difficult to be able to tell if the sounds in the background are rain or voices. However, this sounds a bit too strange to be rain. 
can you maybe show yourself for me as I move the camera along the room? If there's anyone still occupying it, make yourself known. Maybe open the door for me. saw a spider on that side so I walked to the other side and then so I sort of like just stood there like passing the time and then it sounded like there was someone in the courtyard just going oh. Ooh, okay well that's why we're going next I can't tell if it was my mind playing tricks on me or if it was actually something but it was horrifying and I had like I couldn't I didn't want to turn my back to it before heading off to the next location we decided to listen back to the EVP recordings if there is something here with me, can you tell me something? Maybe your name, maybe start. I don't know if that's when I moved the phone. If there is something here. Yeah, I think it's just the phone being moved. If there is. It sounds like someone's sniffing. It does, but also I think it might just be the phone. Should we test that theory? Hold on. Go to the end of the clip. Yeah. It's good to sh why should we be afraid of being in this room? No break. See that yeah, one didn't, that something. sounded like whispering. Yeah. I can't tell what it's saying. I don't know. It what sounds mean? like it's just it's just like really mumbly. We're about to leave. Is there anything you'd like to do before we do it? Maybe meet one of the chandeliers. We'll close on the windows. Open the door for us. Maybe pull one of our hairs. Push me over. That would be funny. Push Lauren over. I used to be part of a girl's school. Where she is my life. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. What the f The illusion is unreal. Look how many of us there is. Spooky. <laughs> the next hot spot we decided to investigate was the courtyard next to the chapel, where we later learned a spirit named Rosie could sometimes be seen. So you heard come here? It, it, yeah. So you just told us to come here, why are you here? I can feel you in here. Just let us know that we don't come here to waste our time, make a sound. That you're still in this room. Pull one of the chairs out. Can you maybe say come here again? Can you possibly move the uh, the sugar packet that I've put on the table? Can you throw it off the table for us, please? I'm hearing a creak and sh. Why did you tell us to come in here? Don't waste our time. If you want to show us something, show us something. Tell us what you can hear. Make a sound for me. As we stand in silence, an elderly woman's voice can be heard. Maybe one of the nuns. It clearly sounds like help. Originally, we had night vision footage from the courtyard, but it was inaccessible once we got home, so we were not able to include it. How'd it go? All right, I was hearing, oh, what? Battery died. Come on, ghouls. Your boy is here. Most importantly, why are there bars on the window? Come on, move a chair for me. I'll show yourself on camera. All right, well, final chance, cause I'm going. I'm not sure if I got it on camera, but I think I saw something like a white orb. I was hearing stuff in there, like tapping. Did the coffee machine make a noise at all while you were in there? Nope. Yeah, no, it was, it was just like tapping, making like weird ass sounds. How do we get to that weird upstairs bit? Straight through there. The next part of our investigation took place in the area of the hotel we'd experienced the most activity. The location where the nun's bones were originally found, by the stairs. I don't like this bit of the mice. This is the bit I have a really odd feeling about. Oh, that damn stuff again. You know, this bit is the most terrifying. Did you hear that? I did. It sounded like it was from upstairs. It was like mine. As soon as I get to this bit, yeah, I don't feel right. It looks like Maybe an abandoned thing. Right, let's go stand at the top. 
So I have voice recording on top of the stairs, I'm going to leave my phone on the floor. So if you want to talk, it's that. Uh... So if there's something here with us, can you maybe make a sound? I feel drawn to this area, I don't know, I feel quite off about it. There's something bad happen here. Would you prefer it if I turned the light off? What happened here? What did this used to be? I try to turn it off. She usually happens in dark. Okay, we are in complete darkness now, so if you want to do something, now is your opportunity. Maybe touch one of us or whisper in our ear. Whisper into the phone or into the camera. We've taken the light away for you. You can at least do this for us. A loud thud can be heard from behind us. However, for some reason, we didn't hear it at the time. We've heard that spirits in this building are capable of scratching people and leaving marks, so why can you not do it to me? I don't mind. You can do whatever you like to me, just as long as I'm not, you know, dead. Would you like us to leave this area? Would you like us to stay? What is on the other side of this door? Can you maybe bang on the door if there's something on the other side? That's relief and you can do anything you like. If you want to hit that door, you hit that door. Emily and I headed to the reception area of the hotel when one of the night staff began discussing its haunted history with us. We were wondering if you knew where the cupboard rooms were. But the name of the room you told me? Yeah, it just, it just says the cupboard, cupboard rooms. rooms. What is this room? I don't know. Okay, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. Because the top and you say cupboard room? Yeah, the cupboard rooms. Where did you read about this? Uh, um, it's just online. Yeah, it says yeah. that there's like growling and... Uh, but about what? About because he's old or, or about the ghost? About the ghosts yeah, and about stuff, the yeah. yeah. So it's true. About the ghosts only, I know the, the chapel and um, room 160. Yeah, yeah we're on so 160. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little treat for your dancing feet. Oh my god. You must be pretty rich. I'm sorry, but. Oh, what? Oh. Look at this fun bag. This is literally my jewelry. That's insane. That's actually insane. That is insane. Look at the Pharaoh Russia, Mr. and Mrs. God damn, rich people. Just like an entire room for the children. This is so cool. Is that a limp place? Yeah. Uh, that's a no. Can you do it? Okay, so no one got broken back today. Is there anything here with us? It almost sounds like something is being said as I ask questions in a random staff room amongst the hotel. Can you fuddle on the walls? Like I am, or I'm here. But can you fight back? Do you want you to push me off this one step? <laughs> that way I won't die. I found the basement. I think that other bit was a little bit left of the stables. Yeah. Right, no, I'm not a big fan of the stairs. What is up there? Would you like to make a sound? That's not your hair. Feel free to follow me back to my hotel room. I've got like 12 minutes. There's no stables outside the so. No, I think they've just converted it into part of the hotel. Well, if we just came in and everything was just all off the table inside. I would, I would lose it. Congratulations. Uh, Charlene and Nick. Charlene and Nick. We decided to head back to the bathroom where I had previously captured evidence on my Snapchat to see if we could gain any more evidence at 3 in the morning. Oh, 
<laughs> so is this mirror or is it on? Is there something here with me? Can you make the face appear again please? Come on. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. I am horrified. <laughs> so, so if there's something here, can you please show yourself again using my phone to make your face appear with you? Cute little kitten hands to take it off of my face. You did it for me Ali, I'll do it again. As we are using my phone in the toilet, faint whispering can be heard from behind us. However, we do not know if it was just toilet sounds. Is there something here with us? Take it off my face and put it onto yours. I know you're capable of doing it because you did it earlier. Yeah, it's not doing it anymore. That's f***ing weird. Do it again. Oh, Ooh, there's two of us this time. <laughs> Imagine if it just appears like... I would freak. <gasps> do it, do it, yeah. Let's do it again. Right, let's wear it off. There's two. <gasps> what is going on? And it disappears. Yeah. Ooh, it's by the bin. Right, so what has just happened? The guy who wrote the message came up to us. Pretty much, he gave us all this stuff. Like, so he gave us, when there was an investigation here with in paranormal the investigators oh. and the entire book for the hotel. The hotel. All of the ghosts in this hotel. What a no, lovely I... guy. What a decent <laughs> Most we people don't we appreciate you. Most people do not accept that we do. They're like, this is weird. But he's he, actually yeah, he printed this off for us in colour. And... <laughs> <laughs> you literally look like the you know the twins from The Shining. <laughs> so let's just go to uh, that staircase we were at. Yes. Try the dancing rods in here and see if anything happens. Because they said it spun round, it went mental. It's f***ing cold in here all of a sudden. Can you spin them around madly like you did to the paranormal investigators for us, please? I've never seen anything like Set that. anybody here? Spin them back and forth for me. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> you doing that? Are you sure? Sure. Keep spinning them for me. Are you sure you're not doing that? Sure. That's f***ing Weird. Okay. Is there something doing that? Is that a spirit? Left for yes, right for no. They're proper communicating in it. Are you one of the nuns? Yeah. Did you do something bad? Yeah? Did you kill that other nun? Sister Teresa. Yes. Did you think that she deserved it? Yep, someone literally did that to her and you still killed her. What's wrong with you? Am I starting to you off? Is it because we're on Teresa's yep. side? Is there something evil in this room? Okay, just to prove again, can you spin them round crazy for me, please? Ew, go on. That's weird. Spin them round crazy for me. That one's like going mental. Yeah. Oh, they're going in the same direction now. Okay, can you put them back to the middle? Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Adios. That was weird. So creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm leaving my doll. Oh, again. <laughs> I'm leaving my doll there. So if you want to move it, feel free to, and we'll be back. Cool. As we are heading to where the nun was buried within the walls, a faint moaning can be heard along the way. Did you hear that? No. That weird groaning sound. <laughs> Okay, so the nun's supposed to be buried like literally at the end of this corridor. Which is weird because that is, if you keep going up, that's the really weird place that we felt uneasy. That's what I mean. So it's yeah, she was so found here. Oh, Obviously it's Teresa, but here by the stairs is supposedly uh, Robert. It might be Robert Duvall. Right, so if you are here, can you point towards exactly where your body was found? Just so we know. Don't be afraid. 
they're easy to use, they're just dousing rods. Point to where your body was found. Okay. Well, we're we speaking to you upstairs in our room. That's like the perfect yes. Yeah. Were you buried alive in the walls? Yes. Are there other spirits here with us, or is it just you that haunts the stairs here? Um, left for other spirits, right for just you. Yeah. Do you not like the chapel? That swung fully to the right. Can you point to where you are in this room right now with the dowsing rods? It's just standing over there. Um, is there also a Robert here? Possibly a Robert Duvall? I've heard that you're an overseer so you can see the future, the past. Is this true? These ones aren't spinning uncontrollably, but in the chapel they are. That's how you can tell it's like different spirit. She seems to cross all the time, the nun. Yeah, but that is because obviously a cross is a religious symbol. Yes, sense. yeah. Do you have anything to do with my sleep paralysis? Yes. Were you trying to tell me something? Is there a way to tell me something without having sleep paralysis? <laughs> That's shaken. It is. It's like, yeah, that's shaken. Ew. If there is something in the cupboard, can you maybe bang from inside of it? Fodder me. That's, I think, also where Father Jacob is in there. Ew, what? And he's the one who's pretty pervy and growls. Well, there's. Oh, that might be where the puppy is. Ready? Tap back. There was a f noise from inside of that. It is very faint, but if you listen carefully, you can hear shuffling within the cupboard room. Tap back. I say we call it a night. I think I'm gonna wander around by myself for like five minutes, see if I pick up anything online. Let's go get Tuesday. Oh, what's the room that you said was, was 28? Don't know, 286 or 281. I'll go up there anyway, see if there's okay. anything. Good luck. <laughs> so it's literally me by myself now. Let's see if anything happens if it's just me, because usually it happens when it's, you know, just one person alive. Yeah. And then I'm gonna head to bed, or try to sleep at least. It's really weird, I feel quite nauseous. Don't feel too good. I've got a really bad pain in my side. Can you say my name? Say my name, say my name. <laughs> so yeah, we just looked around everywhere and we're gonna go try and get some sleep. I'll keep you updated if anything happens. And yeah, keep the camera by my bed, but I think it should be all right. I had an all right sleep before. Let's head to bed. I'll see you guys, preferably in the morning. The night came to an end at the Arnest Manor Hotel. Full of a gruesome past, it was inevitable we were bound to capture something. From strange EVPs to bathroom doors locking themselves, we were not prepared for the night we'd be spending at the hotel. Without a doubt, Arnest Manor Hotel was one of the most haunted places we'd had the privilege of investigating. And the experience will forever leave a mark on all of us. We're awake and alive. I didn't die. <laughs> See, actually, I found that soup. Well, I was just set for it. Anyone else? Any weird? Yeah, no, I was fine. How was your sleep? Any sleep paralysis? Oh yeah. It was so <laughs> we tried to get it like sent your way. How haunted do you rate this? Um, out of ten, probably nine. Okay, but a one. I did get spooked <laughs> at one point in time. <laughs> to be fair, like after everything that happened last night, I guess yeah, seven, eight. I, I think, think it's not on par with the Britannia Adelphi. I think it's slightly above Britannia Adelphi. Really? It's got more evidence. I guess, yeah. More history as well, yeah. I feel. But there's definitely more haunted places mm. to go to. Anyway, see you guys later. Well, we'll be on the tour at the prison. Yes. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>